Why am I blurry? I mean, to be honest with you, that's exactly how I'm feeling right now. Good morning, everyone. I think it's zoomed in. Yeah, I don't know why this camera does that. Good morning, everyone. We have one very, very, very tired me on our hands today but i need to change things around because i have a very very busy day today there is no sun in the sky oh my god my car is so dirty thank god we're gonna go to a car wash now um there's no sun in the sky it is a very very cloudy day which part of me is happy the other part of me is not happy because today is a running errand day and I like to have like a sunny day. Is it gonna rain? Let me actually check because I'm taking my car to car wash, which is a job that I don't like to do if you're being honest. I think certain jobs are blue jobs and <laughs> going to car wash is a blue job. No, it's not gonna rain. It's going to be cloudy until 11 a.m. and then we have sunshine. Uh, but the temperature is not that high. That's fantastic. We are going to be the high of 79. By 3 p.m. it's only going to be 79. That means at night time it will be freezing. Wonderful. Let me just have a sip of this. I love that I'm thinking that a sip of coffee will help me get my thoughts together. <laughs> Time to take my antibiotics right on time. Not antibiotics only, but my vitamins as well. And I think that's the second hope that I had as well. But I take my vitamins, they're gonna help me. I think I showed this to you guys, but I usually keep my like um, daily vitamins and like antibiotic and everything um, in these little cubes. And every time that I'm leaving the house, I just grab one with me um, because. I just don't want to forget to take them uh, sometimes happen that i'm not home when it's time to take them i usually have an alarm for 8 30 in the morning and 8 30 at night because i take my antib antibiotic two times a day um so as i'm taking my antibiotics i take my um like multivitamin and all of that as well let me have my vitamins and then i'll tell you guys why am i so tired fantastic so now Let's continue our journey of the day. Um, I have a little bit of a busy day today, um, errand-wise, because this week was insanely busy. I didn't get to do a lot of the things that I wanted to do, like shopping-wise and like all for you guys in. So let me tell you guys why am I so tired today. So last night, went to my friend Shelia's house and we had a, um, what do you call it, girls' um, night. Um, her husband is out of town and she was like, why don't you, we were gonna go out to dinner and then she was like, why don't you just come over? I was like, that's fantastic, we can come over. Obviously when we go to restaurants, um, we have to leave by a certain time and we usually are the last people who leave. And um, after leaving the restaurant, we come and sit in the car and then chat for another couple of hours. Um, so she was like, instead of doing that, why don't you uh, girls come over? I wanted to make this peach upside down cake for a while. And yesterday I was like, okay, this is a great opportunity. I can uh, make this and take it to her house so we can have it as a dessert. For my first time making it, it was not bad. To be honest with you, I was a I was proud of myself. It had a little bit of cinnamon, which I'm personally not a huge fan of cinnamon. You guys know that I don't eat cinnamon. It's just the smell of it bothers me. I don't think it's as much of the smell as the taste. Um, the taste doesn't bother me as much, but the, oh, the smell of it. I know people are gonna be, it's an unpopular opinion. People are very much about cinnamon. I am not one of those people. Like when fall comes around and people are raving about their pumpkin and cinnamon drinks, I was like, no, 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 can't be that person. Not a pumpkin person either. But anyway, long story short, um, I baked those cakes, which they turned out really good. Um, I think the best way to eat them was to eat them warm. I actually think I'm going to either do a reels or a blog post on the recipe because I did follow a recipe, but I changed a few bits and bobs in it. So I think I'm going to either write a blog post or do a reels. Oh my God, I went really dark. Um, 
so in case by the time this video is up i'll link the recipe for you guys i think i got there around eight and i left at 2 45 in the morning there was so much to catch up on and even at 2 45 i think we were falling asleep that's why we we're like okay time to leave I woke up at 5.45 for my Pilates class and last night I knew I'm not gonna be able to make it. I knew it. I was like, your body is exhausted. Your brain is foggy. So why are you pushing yourself? I was like, it will make me feel better. Just, it will make me feel better. I didn't even cancel my class. So because you have to like register to take a class. So I woke up and I was like, I can't. I, you, there is no amount of money in the world that you can pay me right now for me to get up and go to this class I just couldn't I just couldn't so I laid in bed I didn't even fall back asleep I laid in bed for like 45 minutes um, then I got up made myself my coffee and then I was like you know what I'm just gonna start my day early I didn't even go to walk I did wear my workout clothes in the hopes of that I might just take a walk around the block but that didn't even happen i was just too lazy and exhausted but i have so many things that i need to get done starting with a car wash which is a very much of a blue job i just don't like to go to a car wash if you you can disagree with me but there are certain jobs that are a blue job and a pink job and car wash is not a pink job in my opinion but i have to go ahead and do it because my car is really really dirty and all the blue people in my life are busy today and I want my car to be clean today because I'm going out with my friend Colette at night and I offered to drive so I need my car to be clean I'm gonna go to car wash now and then we're gonna go to Target and then we're gonna go to world market it is so early in the morning that world market is not open so hopefully by the time I finish my errands they will open Hopefully. Why are there so many cars in the car wash? When did these people have time to come? It's literally 8 in the morning. Oh yeah, I just wanted to do all my errands in the morning. So towards afternoon, I have less things to do. Um, so I can record the get ready with me reels when I'm going out to dinner with my friend Colette. And like get ready in peace. And then tomorrow I want to... Actually, give me one second. This... Uh, what do you call it car wash guys coming my way and this is gonna be awkward so give me one second i'm still waiting for my turn to like pull my car to the front but i'm gonna hold my camera here because am i again zoomed in no no um yeah i'm gonna hold my camera here because there's just so many people around me and it's going to be weird if i just take out my camera i mean i'm more comfortable vlogging um in public but i don't think car wash is the place to be that comfortable because I don't know it's just awkward anyway um tomorrow i want to start decorating the house for uh fall um just get ready for fall and all of that and there are just little few bits and bobs that i think i need so i want to go to target and pick up those things 30 minutes ago i couldn't even form a sentence and now i have verbal diarrhea so without me rambling on even more let me just drop off my car and get a car wash and then we're gonna go to target and then i'll fill you guys in even more because if i stay here i'm gonna ramble on even more why do i feel like target is um bringing out um skims dupe let's see oh my god it is as soft but it's a little bit of a flimsier material but this robe screams fall do i need it i mean probably i'm not gonna wear it because we all know i love my white robes I have the top in another color as well, blue and black. So it's a top, shorts, and the robe. Very cute. I'm so excited to get into this fall section. These are the candles that I want, but I don't want it in black. I want the white one. Where is the white one? Oh my god, this is such a cute board. Do I need it? No, but it's very, very cute. Um, I think I want the white one of these. Oh, these are all the black decor. Yeah, I'll have this too. Oh, this is interesting. I wouldn't use it, but it's interesting. I found the white version. Okay, I think I want the small one. And then maybe the big one, or do I want all three sizes? I think just a small one and a medium one, actually. We have so many vases, I really don't have any 
uh, more space for new vase, honestly, but I kind of really like these. I really like this small one. So I want a bouquet for, um, you know the stand that we have in the corner of our dining um, table? I want a fall looking bouquet, um, but I don't think these look good together. Um, they're not that cheap either, they're like $15 each, so if I want like a full bouquet, I have to pay around like $60, $70. Do I just go cut branches from outside and make a beautiful bouquet out of that? I think that's what I'm gonna do. We do have a lot of like wild random trees and um, bushes around um, our house. Maybe I should do that instead of spending like... 60 bucks on a bouquet that I'm not even obsessed with. They look very very fake. Like these leaves scream that they're fake. They have this green section as well which has this olive ones but like they look very fake. And like again um, these are not as expensive uh, but if I want like a full bouquet of it it will like cost a lot. Um, and to be honest with you, they don't look the best. I mean, they look really great from the top, but I don't like them when the like white section shows this much and you can't bend them, all of them, so fully. And these ones are just too basic. These ones are the same. I don't like orange. These ones are the only ones that I really like, but I think I can get something very similar to this from Trader Joe's that gonna last me pretty much like this two months of fall. Um, but I need to spend a lot. I mean, how much are these? I don't think these are very expensive. These are $5, I think. Yeah, these are $5. They're not that much. But my other dilemma is that is green even related to fall? Technically, it is not. It is more of a, I would say, maybe spring thing? I'm not sure. I personally like the touch of green all seasons. I can't, I can't go orange. I just can't. I can't find it in my soul, it's too colorful. How cute are these mugs? I love these. Just overall this um, collection is really, really nice. Like the bowls, the plates are so nice. Even these big coffee mugs. I really like this selection. These are really cute too. These are $7.99 and the color of it is uh, neutral <laughs> yellow and i think this could be cute too but um because i have not taken out our fall decor i honestly don't know what we have and what we don't have all oh, these are cute too um so i think i'm just gonna not buy anything for the time being as far as greenery goes and take out our fall decor first um from storage and then decide what am i gonna do looking much better than how I was looking this morning. I had breakfast, I had my second cup of coffee, and obviously I did my makeup, which by the way, I forgot how much I love using the Tom Ford foundation. I'll show it to you guys shortly. Um, I was just going through my uh, foundation drawer, which by the way, I need to clear it out. There is just one too many items there. And I came across my um, Tom Ford one and I was like, oh my God, I forgot how much I love this foundation. So I used it today. It has such a good coverage, but at the same time, it is such a breathable foundation. Um, I'll show you the bottle to you guys um, after I show you guys what I picked up from Target. So these are vanilla pumpkin scented candles. So I am not a very, it smells exactly like that. It literally smells like pumpkin and vanilla. And to be honest with you, I'm personally not a fan of scent of pumpkin, but the vanilla of it, I feel like is overpowering the pumpkin. So um, I was gonna go for the big one, but then I was like, probably the scent of it will drive me insane. So I just went for the small one, this one, that probably I'm gonna put it on our coffee table and the size of that is perfect and this one is probably going to be next to uh, the dining table candle I really really like the jar of it I think when you finish it you can use it for whatever you want um, I love 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 reusing my candle jars you guys already know that I have a whole cabinet full of different candle jars my diptych ones are just a staple forever and ever I'll collect them like I want to have the biggest collection of diptych candles um, 
hopefully um so yeah i just picked up these the small one was five dollar and the medium one was ten dollar and i think the big one is like twenty dollar if i'm not mistaken um then i picked up very random bits and bobs from um target so i have to refresh my um car essential bag so yeah i just needed very random bits for my car and also like random bits basically so i picked up this pack of um like on the go uh, tissue paper what is it called tissue paper <laughs> yeah uh picked up wet ones a sensitive skin disinfecting um what do you call it disinfecting um wipes i can't find my words i really like this one because it's for sensitive skin and like it's hypoallergenic the red ones are too aggressive um and then i picked up this which is the shot on the go these are absolutely amazing like if you get a stain on your shirt where when you are at and about like if you use this immediately the stain is gonna go um away and um this one comes in a pack of 12 and this is usually what i do is i take them out and like i put them in my car i put them in my handbag i always have at least one in my handbag like everywhere that i take my wallet i take one of these because it's just they're essential and then i picked up uh, my dove deodorant and again another disinfecting wipe um this is the anti antibacterial hand wipes this is from up and up up and up is one of my absolute favorite brands from target like the price is affordable i really like the products compared to other products i have another product i'll show you to you guys that is probably the cheapest one of its category but i think it works the best um so i picked up this one as well because i need one for my handbag and one for my car and then i picked up an elf foundation brush this is the foundation brush that i use every single day um, there's so many foundation brushes that i have tried and nothing blends like this it doesn't leave like the brush stroke and it's very very affordable i think it's like seven dollars and i just switch it out every two to three months um because um just foundation brush gets dirty really quickly in my opinion no matter how much you wash it it just it soaks in the product and sometimes that makes me wonder if it if like the product goes into the brush and stays there um for that long just imagine what it is doing to your skin i don't want to think about that um the next product that i picked up is the open up fragrance free makeup remover cleansing towelette and this is the one that i said that it is one of the best ones of its category i cannot stand the neutrogena vibes i feel like they literally like scrub your face like not in a good way like they're just horrible in my personal opinion um i don't use wipes overall this is only in case of emergency uh, for my car and also at home i only use this um, when i'm doing my makeup with my hands it makes it easier and faster um then i picked up this on the go like small mini um dove uh, deodorant as well again for my car this is the only scent that they had and i picked it up i'm usually not very picky uh, if my camera focuses on it i'm not very picky with the scent to be honest with you and again this is like an on the go kind of a vibe so in case of emergency this is great and the last item from target is the mini lysol um what do you call it spray i have been in many many situations that i needed one of these so i always always keep one in my car um i don't keep one in my bag because i already have like a um what do you call it antibacterial wipe usually in my bag uh, but it has been many 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 times that i needed a disinfecting spray in public I promise you at one point in this vlog I'm going to look a lot more presentable I mean I did my makeup the other day when I was showing you guys what I got from Target 
so you can't tell me I'm not treating you to the best content ever but anyway good morning everyone it has been a very active morning because it was hair wash day it was a face shaving day scrubbed off my tan and what else have I done give me one second you guys are covering my camera so give me one second so um yeah it has been a scrub off of one of those everything showers that i had this morning i blow dried my hair just straight i haven't styled it yet um but i used the uh new gizu hair serum it's like a repairing serum and i feel like it made my hair super smooth like not that it took the frizz away because I don't have the frizziest hair, but I do have a pretty damaged hair, especially the ends. And um, it was looking a little bit crusty, uh, to be honest with you. But I have to use it for like at least two months to be able to tell you guys. I always want to use a repairing and nourishing products in my hair since my hair is not the healthiest. I mean, it is again going towards better, it's in its recovery stage, but still um yeah it's not obviously fully there it is definitely growing a lot um longer i just can't wait for the day that these layers are as long as the back section but now i am going to get my nails done very very excited and i think i want to do red depending on what kind of red they have i don't want like a bright red i want like a blue undertone dark red the shopping center has a cvs i'm also going to go to cvs because i need to get um a chocolate bar because i'm making a dessert um i'm sure you have seen the almond dessert not almond why did i say almond sorry i was just like distracted by parking um sure you have seen the date dessert on tiktok and instagram it went viral everybody's like obsessed with it and oh, you know what actually this man is uh, looking at me a little bit weirdly so let's just move because we don't want that kind of energy in our life so yeah anyway <laughs> what was i saying i want to make a dessert and like a snack um, kind of a vibe so I need to get a bar of okay relax I need to get a bar of chocolate so first I'm gonna go to what time is it oh, did I forget to bring my phone I actually did <laughs> what time is it I don't have time to go back I only have literally five ten minutes this never ever happened before I never leave the house without my phone. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. It is what it is. Let's go grab. Good thing I grab, grabbed my uh, wallet because I was going to pay with my Apple Pay. That's what I do all the time. Um, am I sure I didn't bring it? Yep. Seems like I don't have it with me. That's great. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go back buy the chocolate bar and then we're gonna go get our nails done and uh, I'll let you guys know obviously afterwards if I got red nails or no um, I'm really really itching red nails but again I want it to be a pretty red um, I don't want it to be like a too much of a bright like a summer red my nails are so grown out and they look so long I need to cut them as well and for some odd reason they lost their shape Usually my nails don't lose their shape. Like this one is looking very weird. Why is it looking like that? I'm looking still to see if I'm gonna find my phone because what am I gonna do for like two hours without my phone? I'm gonna be so bored. Okay, let's go buy my chocolate bar. <laughs> got a dark one. I'm not sure what special dark means and got a regular one. I was like, I'll just do half and half of um, each of them. This is a very rare sighting of me having red nails, but I am into it. I got red on my toes as well, and I feel amazing, to be honest with you. So the color that I got is, I think, I believe it's called um, Big Apple by OPI. Um, 
the actual polish in my opinion looks a bit darker than the gel which usually that happens usually they're not the exact same color um, but very happy with my red nails. Let's see how long I'll be able to handle this um, Tom the guy who does my nails. He's like if you come um, in in like four days and ask me to change it I'm not going to change it. I was like, okay. Why are you so aggressive? You don't need to be this aggressive He's like no because you're gonna damage your nail and I'm not gonna change it. I was like, okay Point taken. I'm not going to change it. It is raining and I just took my car to car wash like a couple of days ago this is not good. I'm not happy. <laughs> I am not happy. I actually went to two restaurants this past weekend that I want to tell you guys about it. Uh, but I'll save that for when I'm doing my makeup so I can chat with you guys. Now I'm going to go home and hopefully get ready for the day and not look like this. Because this is just not a vision to be honest with you. <laughs> days without tan it's just I can't basically I realize I can't do that because I'm looking very 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 pale and just being pale is not a vibe for me I just don't like it I feel like nothing looks good I don't even have foundation the same color as my actual skin so whatever I use is dark and is not a good look this weekend upcoming weekend is going to be a little bit of a busy one with like a lot of events so I need to have a tan on basically that's a long story short which none of my stories are short they are pretty long but anyway good morning everyone it has been a few days ever since I saw you guys last um, I think last I saw you guys was when I was going to my nail appointment and on my way back I spoke to you guys if I'm not mistaken so if you guys remember I thought I left my phone at home but that was not the case I actually lost my phone when I got back home I realized that my phone is nowhere to be found and then I did the find my iPhone through my iPad and then I have realized that it is in one of the donation bean bags um, that um, I, I started switching my wardrobe just a little bit, nothing major yet, um, but I started like emptying out the items that I pretty much didn't wear this entire summer um, just so when I am switching my, my wardrobe it's a little bit lighter um so apparently i put my phone in one of those um bags that's gonna go to the donation and those bags were in my sister's um car's trunk so it was pretty much a panic mode because we couldn't find it and that was the last place to be honest with you that i thought i would put my phone but i don't know how it ended up there but it did anyway we found it happy ending but that day um it just ruined my entire day and my mood and all of that i did make the dessert which came out really really good like the snack thing that i was telling you guys and i have been eating it pretty much ever since i made it i'll show it to you guys um i made a mistake of uh not melting the chocolate in a correct way i put it in an oven i know not supposed to do that and we don't have microwave we don't, we're not a fan of microwave in this household at all so instead of putting it on stove and like basically melting it slowly i um decided oven is a better idea which is not um and yeah i was struggling just a little bit when i was doing the chocolate section that's why it's not like as smooth but to be honest with you i don't care it tastes absolutely amazing um so yeah, i'll show you guys that but before uh, we do all of that if you remember i was telling you guys that i want to tell you guys about uh, two restaurants that I went this past weekend um, I will tell you guys about them while I'm trying out this new um, lip balms these are from um, these are actually lip tints I'm sorry these are from Lux Unfiltered um, how cute is this PR packaging I received this in PR and I am a huge fan of um, the brand there is nothing that I have tried ironically I have not tried any of their um what do you call it um tanning products 
I love their lotion. Like there is nothing in this world, in this world like their lotion. So hydrating, smooth. It has a glow. It's not oily, but at the same time, it's shiny. Such a good product. I love their body builder. I love their hand cream. I have their hand cream right there because I apply it every single night. I love their um, lip balm, their actual like lip treatment balm. And what else do I like about them? I have not tried any makeup. This is my first time trying any makeup from them. And to be honest with you, I have already tried on two of these colors. But I just thought I'll like do a color try on with you guys uh, while I fill you guys in about the restaurant. Why am I looking so pale? Is it the lighting or I'm actually this pale? Let me see if i can change the lighting of the camera is this better i hope so anyway um i'm going to try on these colors i'm not gonna do any kind of lip liner which usually i do but i want you guys to be able to see the actual true colors of it uh we're gonna start with cacao cacao yeah i think um and this one is the one that i actually i have not tried at all i tried the other two let's just go in so hydrating look at it the colors are so variable and nice like for an everyday girl you can wear them without makeup you can wear them with makeup you can wear them as a gloss like they're just so so pretty and this is why i always apply lip liner because i'm like a little kid i don't know how to stay inside the lines I really like this color it's so pretty obviously i'm very very pale right now but i feel like if i have a little bit more color on me this is going to be a little bit more subtle for the time being it is look looking a little bit bold why am i blurry there we go so one of the restaurants that um my friend colette and i went this past weekend was a rooftop called la lola vibes were off colette and i were like it was like mid-dinner and I was telling Colette that, hey, do you feel like people are odd? No offense to anyone who goes to that like restaurant. It, maybe it was that night. And she was like, yeah, it's a very interesting vibe. The espresso martini was one of the wor worst espresso martinis I ever had. The snacks were not bad, but like how badly you can mess up like a potato and like uh, Brussels sprouts. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go in with the color guava. This is my favorite color. So pretty. There we go. It's such a pretty corally pink, in my personal opinion. I absolutely love, love, love this color. It's so pretty. Like, it can work with so many skin tones, with so many makeups. You can go for a light makeup or a bold makeup with a subtle lip and this is such a pretty color and they're super like um hydrating on the lip obviously because they're like tint tinted bombs uh so yeah the vibes were off uh we ordered steak and it was horrific like horrific the aftertaste was really really bad i usually don't like to bash any kind of restaurant and like talk badly of them i rather just not mention them but i feel like this was one of the worst not the worst, but one of the worst um, experiences um, of my life. And Colette's, because we were both like, what are we doing here? Like, no, the vibes were off. It gave me a kind of a vibe that you go to this restaurant when you don't want to be seen with that specific person that you are with anywhere else. I know that's such a weird thing to say, but like, that was the vibe that I was getting. The customer service was absolutely amazing. The view was phenomenal. I feel like during sunset, it would be beautiful for like sunset drinks or like probably just like snacky bits, like olives, potatoes and Brussels sprouts because the food was not interesting. Um, but yeah, um, our waitress was an absolute angel. She was so sweet. Um, like no complaint on the customer service section of it, but just overall the vibes were completely off. Um, if you've ever been to that restaurant, please let me know if you feel the same way or if you like decide to go. Uh, let me know if you felt the same way or not because Colette and I definitely 
felt the weird vibes uh the next uh color is a paloma which is another favorite it's like a nudie kind of a um like i think it's like the perfect nude and this is another favorite um i mean obviously i told you guys that i like every single one of them i truly do because i feel like they are such a pretty and like super variable colors and obviously they're gonna have a little bit more pigment if you wear them on top of your lip liner oh my god my lips are so dry but this is making them look a lot more hydrated than uh, they are i need to scrub my lips but this is a beautiful nude color that i truly enjoy wearing and i think i'm going to leave this on but i think i need to go over it with my lip liner because i personally like my lips to have a little bit of definition i feel like this is just very like blah but they look fantastic on their own they're gonna look good uh with lip liner so yeah i'm going to uh link this for you guys i feel like these are going to be my absolute ride or die products during fall and winter because my lips get very very dry as we can see and i always need to apply some sort of a balm and why not apply a balm that has a tint to it and it will make your lips look juicy and pretty um but yeah um that's the lip products that i wanted to tell you guys about and that was the odd experience that i had with that restaurant the day after that we went to um another restaurant called if i'm i hope i'm saying the name correctly it was called le petite paris when i tell you i had the complete opposite experience from the night before it was one of the most beautiful um restaurants that i have ever been food was absolutely phenomenal um the customer service was great the oh my god the french onion soup <sighs> I can't wait to go back to that restaurant i can't wait to go back like the french onion soup was just magic it was full of cheese full of onion full of spices it was absolutely amazing um i got an espresso martini there as well which was delicious delicious oh my god their desserts i can't even begin to tell you how good the food is um over there i got um truffle risotto which is one of my favorite foods and it was delicious we got um their um prosciutto bruschetta which was absolutely amazing uh we also got their cheeseburger with fries which that was delicious as well it was so juicy i know cheeseburger is not a very typical thing that you get when you go to a french restaurant but apparently they are known for their cheeseburger um so yeah and then we got their lava cake with gelato which was magical i got a latte which was delicious the food absolutely amazing atmosphere great music selection fantastic just everything i just adored 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 that restaurant so um i just had to let you guys in a little bit because i don't think i filled you guys in over on instagram but i wanted to um talk about this restaurant because i know a lot of you guys um always message me like hey i'm going out to a brunch what restaurant would you recommend um it is no um new news that i love going to restaurants i think it's one of my favorite hobbies to be honest with you trying out new restaurants different cuisines and all of that even though i'm not very adventurous when it comes to food but i like to go to different restaurants and i always find something in any restaurant that i'll enjoy eating i'm not like very fussy but yeah, if you like French food and um, you live in LA or you visit LA, I would highly suggest going to the restaurant because the food was absolutely amazing. But yeah, just want to give you guys a rundown of the two uh, restaurants that I went this weekend. Um, now, I have a few bits and bobs that I got from Amazon. I want to show you guys a few fashion bits, uh, which a couple of them are very... I mean all of them are exciting but a couple of them i'm very very excited about because they're pretty much designer dupes um i have not tried on um few of these items i tried on pretty much only one of them uh but not the other ones so it's going to be pretty much an unboxing and try on haul of the amazon bits and bobs that i picked up i'm telling you guys i have been enjoying this very much i'm literally like half more than halfway done it is so 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 delicious like look at that it's like dates peanut butter a little bit of walnut and peanut and then dark chocolate regular chocolate and a little bit of sea salt on top it is 
so 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 delicious i'm actually going to have this piece it doesn't look very uh, appetizing because i didn't cut it really nicely but i promise you it is delicious you guys might notice that we have fall the course so you guys are seeing a little bit of a sneak peek of it my next video is going to be a full-on like decorate the home um, with me for um, fall and like my entire thought process and everything uh, but for the time being let's focus on this um, Amazon uh, bits and bobs that I bought let me start off with actually the most exciting ones so you guys know I'm a huge fan of designer pieces uh, as long as they are um, Chanel and YSL I'm not the biggest fan of like trendy items saying that one of these items is actually not a trend it is actually very very much of a classic piece um, specifically this first one that I'm going to talk to you guys about long story short <laughs> i bought a designer dupe belt that i i mean designer yeah it is a designer dupe but obviously it doesn't have the logo and i didn't want it to have the logo um on it i wanted it some i wanted something that looked like it but obviously without the logo so here is a belt that I got from Amazon that looks just like an Hermes belt. And to be very honest with you, this is not a trendy piece. Obviously, Hermes belts are classics. You're going to wear them year after year. And like, if anything, by age, they just look better and better. Um, the vintage ones are even more expensive than the real ones. I don't know what the deal is with that. I'm not very well educated when it comes to um, Hermes pieces. But anyway, I was scrolling through um, uh, Amazon and I came across this belt. I believe it was around the $25 if I'm not mistaken. I just absolutely love the color of it, love the gold detail. And again, this looks just like an Hermes belt. One day I will invest in an Hermes belt because I think they are very much of a classic um, piece. Um, not every single item from Hermes in my personal opinion, but um, specifically this belt, which I think is their Kelly belt, um, is a classic piece and I would love to invest in it. But until then, I think this gives me Hermes vibes without being Hermes pricing, obviously. Um, so that is the first designer item that I got, designer dupe or look like item that I got. And the second one is this Loewe one. You guys know I'm a huge fan of uh, brushes. And I think it was last year that I ordered a Loewe brush. And when it came in, the safety, like this safety pin of it in this section, it was broken. And by the time I returned it, they were sold out of it. So I never just bought it. And again, I was scrolling through Amazon and I came across this. And this legitimately looks identical to the Loewe. Um, I'm pretty sure if you look in details, you'll see differences. But um, just overall, it looks very, very similar to it. And I'm a huge fan of brushes. And I wear my Chanel ones a lot, specifically during fall and winter. I wear them a lot um, with cardigans, with jackets, with tops, with sweaters and all of that. Um, so... I just thought I'll get this because it's just is cute. You guys get the vibe, right? I think it's very, very cute. And this was, if I'm not mistaken, five dollars. So yeah, just got this because if it was a Chanel piece, I would hundred percent recommend, or like a YSL one, I would hundred percent recommend investing in one because they're classic pieces. But um, Loewe is not a brand in my personal opinion. Um, that is a classic piece that could be my personal opinion you don't have to agree but um, I'm actually not mad about getting this for obviously the price that I did the next item is this pink cardigan that I am absolutely in love with this this is from a brand called Urban Revivo I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, if you guys watched my previous Amazon haul, I had another um, cardigan from them and I did mention that I'm going to like browse their website and see what other items they have. And I came across this pink jacket that they have it in white and they have it also in black. I just wanted a pink, um, 
a jacket that will go perfectly with my pink shoes my Steve Madden shoes I'll try it on for you guys I just love the details of it the pearl the gold and everything is just truly stunning I got this in a size what size did I get let's see extra large the other one that i had even though it was extra large the other one was a little bit of a weird fit but this one fits a lot better the sun is playing game with us today it keeps coming out and going in you cannot convince me that this does not look chic and sophisticated <laughs> i absolutely love it i honestly think i want to get this in probably white of it as well or maybe i do have one too many white ones probably in black I think I need to get this in black as well. It is so chic. Love the quality of it. It is so well made. It's so thick. Obviously, you can wear it as a top like, and close the buttons. Or you can wear it as a cardigan and open the buttons and wear like a tank top underneath or like a bodysuit. I absolutely love it when it is closed because it just shows the buttons um, a lot better. It shows the structure of it a lot better. And I think, to be honest with you, I could go with the size large of it as well. So maybe I'll just exchange this with the size large. Um, I think that would be better because I feel like the X-Large is just a bit too boxy in this area. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to order this in size large and also the black one in large because this is chic and for the price of it it's an amazing amazing quality the next item that i have actually tried on and i'm not going to try on for you guys because it just doesn't fit me nicely is this one which i saw this dress i was like oh my god what a beautiful dress and it was such a good price it has beautiful details has this beautiful like pockets with the cutest like gold and pearl buttons so i just thought this is such a cute piece like you can wear it with cardigans you can wear it with like blazers and it looks like chanel it gives chanel vibe unfortunately it is a horrific material like it's so thin like i don't know if you guys can see it's very very see-through and the sizing of it is not the best the fabric doesn't have any kind of stretch to it so it doesn't look flattering on me at all i'll insert the picture of the model wearing it so you know how it sits um uh, but yeah unfortunately this will be a return because it's just it's a very very cheap material i know it's not the most expensive dress but i get h&m pieces pretty much with the same price but the quality of the h&m pieces um are a lot better so yeah unfortunately this dress will be a return this is an item that i have not even taken it out of um its bag uh, but i'm very excited to try this how beautiful is this i just absolutely fell in love with the design of it they have the white version of it as well that i think i wanted uh, let me see what size did I get this in This is in a size large and I'm really hoping it is going to fit me nicely I just thought with jeans with black pants with white pants. It would be cute I don't know if this will fit me. It is stretchy, but obviously I don't want it to be too short um, my ideal wear way of wearing it was with um, probably like um black jeans like bootcut black jeans that i have from um h&m and like with a blazer um i just thought it would look cute i just love the combination of black white and gold so i'm really hoping that this is going to fit me nicely i am obsessed with this top it is so beautiful and i love the fabric love how this fits and i think i want to get this in the other color of, of it as well which is it has the uh, white and the black version, like a completely like opposite of this one. Like the main color is white and all the lining is black. I think I want to give that a try as well. And I also think it comes in like a brown or beige color. Just love it. Love, love, love it. It's so chic. It's sophisticated. I really like it for sure. I'm keeping this. And as I mentioned, I'm going to order the other colors of it as well, which I'm going to link all the colors for you guys in the description box below. The next item that, again, I have not tried on is this one, which is, again, black, white, and gold. But this one is like a short sleeve, and this looks more like a cardigan top. Um, I picked this one up in size, let's see, 
this is a size large and i have no idea what brand this is so i'm just going to link it for you guys it doesn't have the like label on top i just thought this will look very cute with blue jeans with white with black again during fall it doesn't get that cold in la specifically during the day night time no all of a sudden it's like winter so i just thought this will work great for like fall uh, daytime kind of a situation and you can obviously layer it you can wear a cardigan on top of it you can wear blazer or coats for like if it gets a little bit colder um, so let's just try this on and see how this is going to look um, on me the thing is that I have a habit of tucking in my uh, tops because I just prefer them like that and this one has a beautiful design on the bottom so um, yeah I have to try this on and see how I like it like if it is like not tucked in how does it look and um, from the look of it it looks a little bit boxy but i have to try it on and see how it looks on me i am honestly not crazy about this i don't know it's just i like the design of it but i don't like how it sits on me it is a very very thin material material i'm like wearing a lace bra and you guys can see through it um yeah i don't think i like the feet of this and also it is a yellow undertone beige which is not something that i personally like so yeah unfortunately this will be a return because i'm just not crazy about the feet of it and i'm not crazy about the color um of this white because as i'm wearing it with like white jeans you guys can see the color difference pretty clearly so yeah this will be a return. I am playing one of my absolute favorite soundtracks on YouTube, which is a Downtown Abbey soundtrack. It's just absolutely glorious. Like I can listen to this music pretty much like all day. And that's what I do. I pretty much listen to it when I'm working, when I'm like doing something. It's just my absolute favorite soundtrack. It's just, it's super calming. And like at the same time, it makes my heart very, very, very happy. Uh, but yeah, that is everything that I got from Amazon. I'm going to link everything for you guys in the description box below I know this video was a little bit all over the place because I have been having a little bit of a busy few days and I have been recording Probably two or three videos at the same time um, But yeah, it was a little bit of a chaotic mess, but I really hope you guys don't mind it With that being said, I'm going to love you and leave you Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!